Welcome back. I always feel taller than the camera. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, Eric. Welcome back to the show, day six at the Minnesota State Fair. This has also become a yearly tradition for us. Ladies and gentlemen, from Monty's uh, Traveling Reptile Show, give it up for our good friend, Brian, everybody. Hi, Brian. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Okay. Um, I, I got to get. I got to correct you, though. You did say yearly. You let me down last year. I know. You know I mean, why? You're right. Everybody's too nice to say it. I know. I only get one chance a year to remind you. I know. And, and Brian's absolutely right. You know who you can blame. My boss. They put me in a cage, like right over here. That way, they wouldn't let me see anybody. It was like a dog kennel. But I did I'm thought I heard like a small whimper as I went by. <laughs> yeah. But I just, you know, it's a fair. You I see was... and hear all kind of things. You just keep your head down and yes. keep going. Okay. Now the audience is a little freaked out by the size of the uh, of the uh, of the items. <laughs> yes. Well, we're of... not so concerned about size. It's not. It's not size. It's what's in the container. Okay. That's what we really want to get That's at. Correct. But we're going to start with That's... Shannon here. She's oh, oh, the, uh... oh no. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> She is a okay. nice lady. I know. You I'm not afraid to her right now. I've known you for 20 years. How dare you jump when I've known you for 20 years? You're out of your shell, and that's what freaked me out. <laughs> so Shannon, <laughs> Shannon has a young Salcata African tortoise here. They're really cute. A lot of, and I pulled her out because she seemed like she'd be great help. Shannon's not afraid of anything. She made that real clear. So she's gonna go around your crowd here. They seem like good people. Go ahead, pet him right on top of the shell. The thing about Salcatas is they breed real easy. Hello. So pet stores love them. They're not going to breed right now. You're probably yeah. fine. You're safe, audience. She Don't might, worry. might have a leak. But the thing is, with the Salcatas, they tend to get oh just a little bit goodness. bigger. Oh, my goodness. Hold this for a second. I'll, I'll hold this. Oh, my God. God. If you run away, i got to go with you. Okay. Holy. So they grow up into this, and this is not full grown. These are the same thing. The one that Shannon has is about five years old. Rodney here is about 20 years old. That's so Rodney. We have Ram and we have Rodney. Ram I, Rod. So when you come into Monty's right across from the DNR fish ponds down the road from Channel 9, it's only $3 to get in, folks. We're taking a stand against inflation. You come in, you get to pet this guy. We got two of these big guys. They work every other day. They have to work six days a year. It's a pretty good gig. If That's, you can it's get like it. hosting Wheel of Fortune. Same <laughs> Not gig. Not that easy. How, Brian, how long do they live? Um, so these guys only live about 60, 80 years or so. Six, only 60 to 80. Well, that's we're longer than I'm going to last. Yeah. Well, it depends he's, how he, much fair food we consume. That's true. Oh, he is cool. He is real nice. So he's Okay. And they're, Kendall, they're really be careful. awesome animals. But the thing is, you know, moms will come in like my kid is dead set on a snake, and I am no snakes whatsoever. I'm going to get a tortoise. Yeah. Really cool. But it eats all the time, so it processes that food, and it goes to the bathroom all the time. If you've ever seen the comics Family Circus with all these little black dots in the chaos of the day, yeah, that's a tortoise. Only these little black dots are Tootsie Rolls, but don't eat them. Yes. <laughs> what is their diet, Brian? So these guys are mostly leafy greens, but if you show up with a... Uh, oh, my God. Okay. I just. But if you I show up with a banana or a strawberry or something like that, I don't like care that, anymore your about best your answer. Friend. I just... I'm, can, I, can I sit on your lap? <laughs> okay. Come here. Oh my God! Oh God! God! <laughs> oh. So at Monty's, one of the things my uncle Monty was always loved to have is big snakes. Unfortunately, to come over and hang out with you guys to bring a big snake is really tough to do. Okay. So we didn't bring one. You can come join us if you'd like. No, I'm I'm good. Yeah, absolutely. Pet her he, right on the back. No, I'm not. So I'm this, good. This is a green anaconda. This is Betty. Her mom, Anna That's Banana, is name. <laughs> my grandma, too. That's how I got the yeah. name. I named a biscuit after mine. You named a snake after yours. Well, I love my grandma. Yeah, I did, too. So yeah, this is just a little girl, full growing. Yeah. Okay. Go Jason, ahead. would you like some bigger bleachers? Yeah. Pretty soon you'll be on the top of the I, giant I, slide. I, but pretty soon I'll be over at to get up there. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is just a young green anaconda, full grown. She's gonna get 16 to 20 feet, two to 500 pounds. What? Look at. She's got some growing left to do. What's up with Jacques Cousteau over there? What are you doing, Kendall? Oh no no no! I thought they were gonna Britney Spears with uh, Kendall over there. Okay, I can. Excuse me, sir. Sir, so, okay, that was great. That was completely unnecessary. Oh my God! Okay. 
Oh, he's his mouth is okay. So just to be Hello. clear, when we started, they asked, "You want to just share a mic with Jason?" Yeah. And I believe I made it clear to him, like, "Well, we would, but he has a tendency to run away." Yeah. Can you can you point him that way? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm seconds from getting in your chair. I'm not. I'm, I'm sharing that chair with you. So this is just a young alligator. This is Archer. He's seven years old. Any seven-year-olds here today? Any, anybody seven well, years anybody old? Anybody who has a seven-year-old, you guys know this, seven-year-olds love to throw tantrums. Or in your world, lots of drama. Yeah, You know. totally. So when you get him out, he likes to throw this little tantrum. See, are we serious about going to work today? Once he finds out, like, okay, you're serious? They're very, very smart. If you get after him, you change the tone of your voice. Just like when mom or your grandma Betty would finally get mad enough, like, yeah. oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah. You'll see that behavior change in these guys, too. Brian, um, I don't know if the alligator can. It's an alligator, right? Correct. I don't want the alligator to look behind because there's a deep fried alligator booth right behind us. So I don't oh, we absolutely don't. let them know this. And also, when they really behave, they have absolutely beautiful skin. There's more than one purpose for these guys yeah. if they can't behave. Yeah. Just like my mom would tell I me, there's you. other places I could be other than home, like work <laughs> camp, yeah, if I can't pull my weight. He, they are beautiful. Now, how big will, uh, how big will he get? So hopefully he's going to get anywhere between 8 to 12 feet. If we're really lucky, we're going to be pushing 20 feet. Pushing 20 feet. Okay. Did, okay. Did I go over into the dead let's, spot? Yeah, I think we went into the dead spot. Let's go back over here. So if anybody that's come on to Monty's before... They know when we come in, you see our big alligator, Albert. He was 48 years yes. old. He was over 8 feet long. Unfortunately, he passed away in December. Now, my Uncle Monty passed away five years ago who started this, and we can all agree Monty moved on, and for those of you who ever knew him, there's some debate whether he went up or down, but we can agree <laughs> he went, moved on. So our theory with Albert is because when Albert passed away, had to take a look inside him, and everything seemed very healthy. So either Monty is annoyed with everyone or <laughs> everyone is annoyed with him so he came back and got his gator so archer and his buddy bentley they're pulling the weight this year that's right as does brian our buddy give it up everybody monty's traveling reptile show right down right down from fox 9 go support them they're good folks they take care of the animals thank you buddy and we're only going to take three dollars from you that's all that's we'll right. take we'll start giving it back after that we charge more for heaven's sake anyway give it up one Not more for time polos. exactly we're going to take a break. When we come back, a record, a record holder, the fastest dealer you ever did see when we come back. Day six of the Minnesota State Fair back in a moment. <laughs> 